sometimes you have a point on your UI that you want to convert to world space so you can do something there with one of your game objects. I'm going to show you how to get that point on your screen in world coordinates. So I've got a game here in Unity with a nice looking UI and what I want to do is I want to, the game panel here in the middle, I want to get a point here and do and convert that to world space so that I can move a game object there or spawn a game object there play some particle effect there or whatever um, so I'm going to show you how to do that so first I'm just going to set up the scene as an example I'll also create a 3d object a cube put it over there okay so what we want to do is we want to get our point in our canvas and move say the middle and move the cube there or do something uh, in our world at that point on our canvas so to demonstrate that i'll quickly show you how you can get the local positions that no, the canvas positions uh, on the ui and then convert that to the world space so that we can move or do something at that point so what we want is we want to for wherever we're spawning things or wherever we want to try and access we want to essentially have a UI object there or rec at least a rec transform there so that we can um, use it to calculate the kind of bounds of the area we're trying to get the position. So I've got my top panel here, which is just the black box at the top and the bottom panel, uh, which is at the bottom. And so if I create a new UI object, um, which is a panel, I will quickly remove the image because I don't need that. Okay, and I'll quickly move this so that it is the size that we want it. So between our two panels. So now we have game panel and put it between that. Okay, cool. So we want to get the center or any position in this game panel and then convert it to world space. So to do that, I will create a new script called um, game panel UI. Why not? And I will put it on the game panel object in the canvas and I'll open it up. Okay, and get rid of this boilerplate. Um, so what we'll need is first we'll need a reference to our cube that we want to move about. So we'll call it cube transform. And for demonstration purposes, I'll also put some create some points on our UI so we can see the positions more easily that we move into. Okay, and I'll create a start function here. So if I go back to Unity, we're going to create the images here. So we'll call this uh, top point, and we will make that smaller. 10 is fine. We'll also change it to a red, and we will duplicate that and call this middle point bottom point okay i'm just going to use these to demonstrate the like movement uh the positions that we're we're grabbing in the space in the ui space so you, you we won't actually include this in the final game and i'll quickly move these so that you can see them here here and here okay so we're going to move the red one to the top of our panel our game panel that we're using that we want to um, grab the positions of. We'll move the um, blue one to the center, the very center of the panel, and the green one to the very bottom of the panel. To and I, so so I can demonstrate essentially how to grab these spaces. So let's assign the references. Top point, top point, and also our cube for later. So if we go back to um, Visual Studio, and we start, what we need to do is first we need to create a function so we'll do this in a separate just squares or square positions so first we need to get the point in our panel that we want to move the squares to or that we want to do something at so first I'll define some vector threes we'll do panel top point Okay, so now we're also going to need one final reference, which is to the game panel that we're trying to um, grab a position from. So I'll put a reference up here, 
called and it'll be a type rec transform because that's what's that's the transform of a UI object in Unity. Uh, panel transform. Okay, cool. So before we forget, I'll go back to Unity and assign that. And all it will be is game panel into here. Right, so we need to calculate the top points of this panel. So like right around here, we want to move this um, image to about here on the screen. So to do that, what we can do is we can say panel transform and we'll use transform, no, transform points. So you can see in the here it says transforms point from local space to world space. And so this will essentially allow us to get a point on in the rec transform that we want. So to do this, uh, we need to essentially ask for the middle uh, and top of it. So to do this, what we'll do is we'll define a float called panel transform center x. We'll do panel transform dot rect, which is the rect transform center, uh, which is the rect, sorry, the rect. And then we will create a new vector two using this panel transform as the x coordinate and the panel transform dot rect dot, and then we'll do y max because if I type this in, uh, it says here the maximum y coordinate of the rectangle. This y max corresponds to this very top bit up here. So th this is the y max. So all along here is the y max, and we and we want this, and then also the center at x, which is along here. So we're trying to move it to about this point. And um, we've got the vector. We've defined the vector that we need to get that. So I'll do a similar thing with the other ones. But for this one, we don't actually need uh, to define a vector. We can just do game. Uh, we can just do panel transform uh, dot rect dot center, and you'll see that it says um, the position of the center of the rectangle, which is um, nice and easy. And the final one is this, and we'll do y min, which will give us the bottom bit. So along here, this is the y min of our panel that we've um, got a reference to. Cool beans. So now if I move our points that we've got references to the places we've just, the vector threes we've just calculated, um, I will show you, you can see, you'll be able to see what these look like on the screen. Cool. And so the final thing we need to do is just to make sure that we reference our adjust square positions function in the start function so that it plays on on play. So now if I click play, what we're gonna see is these points will snap to the coordinates that we've just calculated. So you can see our top point is at the very top, our middle point is in the middle and our bottom point, funnily enough, is at the bottom. So that's good, that's what we want. And now what we wanna do is we want to convert these points that we have on our canvas into um, a world space that our cube can move to. If we wanna move our cube to up here and the very top, it will move there. Uh, if we wanna to move to the middle, we can snap it to about there and down there for the um, bottom. So to do that, we'll go back to our script and we will first define a new vector three called panel center points world. And what we need to do for this is we need to do, we need to get our camera and we need to use screen to world point and throw in the point here that we've just calculated. And then by doing this, we can then set the cube transform its position to the panel center point world that we have. And so if I save that and go back to Unity and I click play, what it's gonna do is it's gonna, we're not going to see our cube and that's because if I zoom out you'll see that our cube is it's all up here which is like not where we want it because it's not appearing on the screen but you'll see that this point is actually also the exact same position as our camera and so that's the reason for this is because in screen to world point it will say that it's going to it's going to convert from the screen point to the world point at the provided distance z from the camera plane the our distance in z is zero so what we need to do to avoid this from just tping to the camera is we need to offset this by um, the distance of our camera versus our plane in this case, or wh wherever you want, like whatever level you want your cube to spawn. We want it to spawn down here. To do this, all we need to do is look at our main camera, see that it's about, it's 180 units above 
where our cube is roughly. And you can see that here, if I move this down, you'll see that the pos y is moving. So we'll take, what we'll do is we'll, we'll change the z of our, um, pan, uh, of our game panel top point that we've calculated on the UI and we'll change that to, we'll change that to uh, about 180, which will be a bit scuffed, but it'll work. Then go back to Unity, click play. And now it's gone to our top point, which is exactly what we want. Oops. But yeah, so it's gone to our top point. You can't really see it that well, but if I go to here and go to the cube, you'll see that it's moved here, which is apparently, or it is where our uh, top point of our canvas maps to on the world in world space. So if I then change this in the script to um, like middle point, for example, I won't change the name of that, but just for demonstrations and click play. The cube is now in the center point of our uh, canvas and exactly where the middle point is on the canvas. So that's exactly what we want. And that's all I really want to show you.